often hear Democrats claiming to be the more tolerant party. So why are 2020 hopefuls hurling violent rhetoric at the president? Well, joining me now, Richard Goodstein, former Clinton advisor, Matt Schlapp, chair of the American Conservative Union. All right, I want to take you both through some of the language that Trump and the Democrat candidates have been using over just the past 24 hours. Now, earlier today, President Trump talked about how he was targeting new states ahead of 2020. So what are his potential opponents targeting? Well, here's Cory Booker. My testosterone sometimes makes me want to uh, uh, feel like punching him. Okay, we really need to play the longer version of that, but what was that last night? That was just a, that was Bizarre. an odd moment. First of all, you're not allowed to make public attacks or references to attacking the president. Second of all, their whole thing is about how Trump's language is out of bounds and he's causing all this hostility. This man's running for president. And that's the biggest problem these Democratic candidates have. The American people are practical. Do they think these people are ready to lead with statements like that? Richard, I mean, I, again, the longer version is actually really hilarious, but that was just a, I, I, it was just a strange moment. Um, your reaction. I kind of know what you're going to say, but go ahead. So it's reminiscent it. a little bit of when, when Trump and Biden talked about who was going to defeat Take you out the woodshed. Right. Um, but, and I don't think you or Matt quite appreciate this, when Democrats hear that crowd chanting, uh, send her back, and Trump sits back there for 13 seconds, does nothing, then the next day says, I tried to stop it, like we're all idiots and blind, and there's no such thing as videotape. It does make people feel... Um, pretty angry. Is it mm -hmm. is punching him in the face the appropriate response? No, but I do think it it gives rise to that, which is exactly why I think, frankly, the Republicans lost the 2018 okay. elections. Do you mind if I just say on this whole thing about how Democrats get triggered or upset about what these Americans, 7,000 Americans, yeah. feel? Can you understand how upset they are when they hear the squad and these other socialist Democrats running down America, running down these American values? That's why they're upset. It's not because they're racist. It's not because they have, they, they have racial bigotry. It's because they don't want people here that don't appreciate the beauty of America. And they run, they've run this country down no more than the president from the Capitol building talking about American carnage and how there is no such thing as American exceptionalism. They've never been that colorful in running down this yeah, country. He didn't say he didn't that say phrase. That. He said the opposite. He didn't say there's no such thing as American exceptionalism. I think he was trying to say that Things have gotten out of control, and we're going to try to get them back in control. And it was a, it's a lofty goal. The economy's doing pretty well, and I know we have a lot, of, a lot of other issues, but I think that's what he was trying to get at here. I want to get to a second example, though. Here's President Trump today defending the Betsy Ross flag after that backlash against Nike earlier this month. How about the Betsy Ross deal? Yeah, isn't that terrible where they try and take your heritage away? From then you see the picture of President Obama with the same exact flag up. It's really very unfair what they do. They try and demean and belittle, and they're very good at it. They're better at that than they are at politics. They're better than that than they are at policy. Richard. I think when he runs against Colin Kaepernick for president, he'll have a great issue. I don't hear any Democratic presidential candidate talking about the Betsy Ross flag. They're, they're talking about, well, truly, they're talking about health care. They're talking about infrastructure, all the things, frankly, that why are they, Trump why are they hasn't not done. denouncing this anti-Americanism? I mean, there's a lot. I mean, why symbol. is not every Republican denouncing the president's tweets? Because they know he's not a racist. Well, it has nothing to do with the fact what he's saying okay. is racist, given his history with right, housing we can't discrimination. Go litany, Central litany, Park litany, litany, litany. We're not doing litany. So, well, okay, compare that to the 2020 candidate, Beto O'Rourke. Watch. Um, what we saw in North Carolina last week was almost an impromptu Nuremberg rally. Matt, standing up for the flag versus impugning Americans, that's not a good look. Yeah, once again, their problem, these Democratic candidates' problem is not with Trump. It's with the American people. It's what these people think that they have the problem with. And that's the fundamental problem. When they attack those people in North Carolina, they're attacking millions of people across this country, and that's not a winning strategy. Well, I think Trump taps into the sense that Americans are afraid that they can't speak without being branded a racist, and they can't think that America is worth protecting without being called a white nationalist. I think a lot of people are just tired of it. Rhetoric has to come down on all sides. Great to have you both on tonight.